Hey guys, so this is part two of proper skincare. Now this is mainly for adults, but this can go for babies as well. But I recommend if you're going to have a baby skink, um, blue-tailed, uh, five-lined, or garden garden snake, I mean garden skink, then please I do recommend a smaller tank because it's going to be extremely hard fighting a baby skink in this big 20 long tank. I recommend maybe a five gallon or a crater carrier because baby skinks are pretty hard to find unless you have a very small substrate and that would be bad and stressful for the babies. So for adult, I recommend a 20 long or bigger, nothing less because these guys are an adult and, if you, and especially if you got it from the wild because these guys do run an entire yard. If So it just wouldn't be good having them in a small tank, let's say a five or 10 gallon. So basically, uh, this is my setup. I just have some fake plants in a lot of places. So I got some fake plants there, some right here. These are all fake. Some of them do look pretty realistic. And this one is just hanging off the tank, as you can see. And the grass in the background looks really pretty. And then this is this rock, because he's probably under right now. And then I have this log, which I just found that around and that was really really pretty so i just have its water bowl right there and as you can see it's just a bunch of fake plants and i think it looks so pretty and please guys i can't mess up enough even if you don't have fake plants you can't really afford decorations please try to diy something or just don't own the skink at all because skinks do explore and love to go under plants and hide and it just makes them a lot more happier so please guys if you're going to get a skink please use lots of plants and substrate i have a coconut fiber co of eco earth and make sure to moist that whenever you see it's dry i just moist um i mean i just sprayed mine with water so it's pretty nice and damp so please guys if you're going to get a skin get a heat bulb heat lamp and some decorations and some proper substrate for your skink well i really hope this video helped you out on caring for your skink bye